today we are unboxing the Lenovo Smart Robot Vacuum Cleaner T1. And it doesn't just come with one box, it actually comes with two. So we have double the unboxing fun and double the trash. The T1 comes with laser navigation, an integration of sweeping and mopping, zoning cleaning, a disposable mop, and is suitable to use with Amazon Alexa, Google, and other smart apps. Start unboxing. Let's start with the vacuum cleaner. Okay, we've got the manual. We've got the disposable mop attachments. and the water tank for the mop feature. And we have the beautiful vacuum cleaner that's gonna make life much easier. It's definitely very, very pretty. So here we have the vacuum cleaner now. We have three buttons in total, one for charging, one to start it, and one for partial cleaning, according to the manual. So we'll have to figure out what exactly that means. Right now we're assuming that's probably spot cleaning, but we'll figure it out. We have the removable dustbin here, which will never look that clean ever again, probably. On the back there we see the side brushes and underneath is where the roller is gonna go. And there we have it. So this thing is gonna go in the charger next while we unbox the second box. The charging, apparently that is part of box number two, the dirt disposal. So let's see what's in the box. We got more trash and the disposal. So here we go. That is supposedly where all of our dirt is going to go going forward. Of course it comes with the first set of dust bins to go into our little dust removing station. Alright, so there we have it. That's everything out of the box. So we'll get this thing charged and see how it actually works. So here's the first test of the Lenovo T1 Pro. I'm going to show you the Lenovo app. So you have different zones, just like the M7 Pro, Pro Scenic. You can change the fan speed. This is where you can create different zones. This is the timer I set, so at 10 o'clock. Every day it should clean. That's just how you set up my robots. 
You could change the volume of it and the lights of it. See so there you can see I ran it for 14 minutes so far and then one minute each time to test it. You can actually look at the brush and the filter which is kind of cool. I didn't know about this one. And here's how you can drive it like a remote control car. <laughs> The manual does come in English, I'm guessing that's uh, Korean maybe, Norsk, Slovenia, Deutsch. So as you can see on here, the app is this version. This is the current firmware, so I just updated about 30 minutes ago. It actually took about 3 minutes, so it was pretty fast. Here's how you can change it. So currently I have it every time it collects, it goes out and empties its bin. You can also change the voice. I get I think like I said that's Korean maybe. So you notice on this app there is no way to add it to Alexa or Google. So, I tried looking around online, I couldn't find anything, there's nothing in the manual. I went through everything. I noticed when I signed up for this T1 app, there was an email that came from smartlife.me. So I was like, okay, that's kind of strange. So I looked them up, and apparently, Smart Life as an integration with Alexa. So if you look for Lenovo, there's only Smart Home, Smart Link Pro, and that's about it. So I checked the Smart Home, I thought it would be in there. It's not. Smart Life, and this is how I got it set up. So I use the same account that I created with my Lenovo T1 app. And if I go back to devices, you can see it after I scroll past all these. A lot of stuff. Uh, robot cleaner. So this is how I can control it with Alexa. The same could be said with Google Home. Robot cleaner. If you look at it, smart life. So they apparently don't have their own. I guess they work with that company smart life. I'm not sure how that all works, but it worked just fine. I told Alexa, hey, turn on the robot cleaner. And it goes out, does its thing. So yeah, hopefully I saved you hours of trying to figure it out because it took me maybe a good two hours. <laughs> All right, guys, like this video and subscribe. I'll be doing uh, actually more in-depth in uh, testing soon. So thanks.